on Capitol Hill. Mark Shore joins us right now. I know you've been burning the midnight oil. Mark, thank you for joining us uh, this morning. Let's start out with what John Carl was just talking about right now, that meeting Friday uh, between President Trump and Senator Schumer, where they had the outlines of an agreement. Are we close? George, thanks for having me back. But George, I think that uh, honestly, what's befuddling to us is we do think we're making progress. What the president outlined was four issue priorities that John went through in helping to solve the DACA issue, which we want to do too. Keep in mind, these are people age 16 to 36 with work permits, which means they do not have any criminal background. They're here being productive to our country. We want to solve border security. We want to end the chain, chain migration. We want to end the visa lottery program. In two of those main functions, we are seeing Democrats move on the border security issue, which is one that our border patrol agents have said, this is what we need to secure our southern border. I think you've seen the White House show an openness to expand that population, where Democrats have said there are other people who should be part of the DACA population because either they were afraid or didn't apply to the program. We've shown even a willingness to consider that. So we feel like we're making progress on multiple areas. What's befuddling, then, is why are we shutting down the government? Everything that's in the bill is things that Democrats have asked but, for. But on, on, the specific, on the specifics of that deal, what I, our understanding was that Senator Schumer offered, you know, the $20 billion over several years mm -hmm. on the border wall funding, but in return for no changes on the chain migration of the visa lottery. Is that acceptable to the president? Is that something you can sell to Republicans in the Congress? George, I think the problem with that construct is we're going to be back here in the exact same position in a few years. If we don't solve the chain migration visa lottery programs, we will be back here in a few years debating over a new population. Let's keep in mind the two terror attacks most recently that happened in the United States. The pipe bomber came in through chain migration. The, gen the, one who, the terrorist who ran over individuals in New York and killed several people, he came in through the visa lottery program. These are programs that Americans want ended. Why are, we, why are we delaying ending those programs for a future debate? We need to make sure that we don't end up back at the same table in a couple of years having the same debate on immigration. So we want all these issues solved right now. But so, so that's the official position of the White House, because it did seem, according to Senator Schumer, that the president was, was intrigued by that initial deal when it was presented. But in the meantime, uh, there weren't any meetings at the White House yesterday with the president. That meeting with Senator Schumer was the last one he had in person on the immigration. I want to show something the president himself said in 2013 during the last government shutdown. You have to get everybody in a room. You have to be a leader. The president has to lead. You have to be nice and be angry and be wild and cajole and do all sorts of things. But you have to get a deal. The government shut down at midnight on Friday. Why didn't the president have the leaders down to the White House yesterday? Well, George, keep in mind, a week ago, he did have them over at the White House. He had a bipartisan, bicameral group of members over to discuss exactly these issues. What we're, That's we're a lifetime facing... ago in politics. <laughs> George, what we're facing right now is Democrats taking an absolutely implausible position that says we're going to deny funding to two million troops who are serving our country, tens of thousands of Border Patrol agents trying to protect our country over an issue that's not even in this bill. That is an impossible place in which to negotiate. Chuck Schumer himself in 2013, that same negotiation, that same shutdown, said it's like somebody coming into your house, taking your wife and children hostage, and then trying to negotiate the price of your house. That's exactly what he's doing right now. So, so but bottom line, you're just not going to move at all until the until the Democrats say we're not until the Democrats say they're willing to open the government no. without considering changes in DACA. No, I don't. I don't think that's true, George. I think you've seen us move. I think you've seen us move throughout the negotiation on immigration. You also have seen us the bill that's being you know the amendments being offered tonight that John Carl just mentioned is a change from taking it from a four-week to a three-week continuing resolution, which is what the Democrats have asked for, for a shorter time period. So we have been yielding. We have been showing flexibility to say, let's find a deal to make sure that, again, our troops and our Border Patrol agents are not denied payment. But that, the Democrats seem unwilling to even accept that offer, Part George. of that, I know a bipartisan group of senators are working on that deal to extend the, the government funding to February 8th in return for a promise from the leadership and the president that they would get votes on their immigration deal in both houses. Is the president willing to make that promise? Let's keep in mind a couple of things. One, there is a bill that's already been introduced in the House by Chairman Goodlatte that we do hope gets a vote. The Senate does not yet have a bill that has been introduced. So Democrats keep having this position and saying we need to rally behind the Durbin, Flake, Graham position. They don't even have text they've introduced. We're happy to open that debate as soon as people want. We were anxious to have this debate six, nine months ago when General Kelly went to Congress and said we need a solution. We've provided our principles to Congress to say this is what we want in a legislative package. So we're not afraid of a timetable on this. We want to have the right resolution. And, and are, how worried are you that this is going to come back to hurt 
uh, Republicans. You saw our poll coming in. Americans more inclined to blame the president and Republicans for the shutdown than Democrats. You know, I think that uh, Eric Trump was was right in what he said, and that the reality, I think, is that Democrats are forcing this shutdown because they look at what's happened over the last year, and they're captive by part of their base. They see the record tax cut. They see the repeal of individual mandate, the rollback of regulations, the record number of circuit court judges and a Supreme Court justice confirmed, and they see the president making a difference. And the base of their party is holding them captive. And they put themselves in a box now that's a hard way to find a way out. How do you get out of a situation where you're denying funding to our troops and our border agents? Meantime, the president's political team hitting them hard, coming out with this ad last night. It's pure evil. President Trump is right. Build the wall. Deport criminals. Stop illegal immigration now. Democrats who stand in our way will be complicit in every murder committed by illegal immigrants. President Trump will fix our border and keep our families safe. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Democrats complicit in murder? George, I think that uh, the reality is that there are safety concerns for our country. One of the things that came out in a report just last week is that there's over 2,500 people on the terror watch list trying to get into our country each and every year. Many of them are coming into these loopholes that we need to fix. Why are we delaying fixing them? That's over seven per day trying to get into the United States of America, and yet we're not doing anything to fix our immigration laws. But you also know that there's plenty of studies that show that immigrants don't commit crimes at rates higher than other Americans. And aren't you worried that an ad like that is going to poison the well for negotiations? Uh, George, I think we've actually been making progress on the negotiations. I think what's uh, poisoning the well is the decision to shut down the government and stop paying our troops.